Hey guys, Scott here. So we're gonna jump straight back into the Quick Spin series, and this week we're gonna look at the Kia Platinum River M721. Join me as we have a look around. The Kia River Platinum M721. Why are we reviewing it? Well, simply, it had a bigger presence this year at the show. It's now under the wing of Apollo, and it was on the stand featuring the Windsors, the Adrias, and the Winnebagos. As you can see here, they had a recent merger between Tourism Holding Limited and Apollo Tourism Limited. So now, now that they have the might of Apollo behind them, we might be seeing more of them. So let's get into this. This is the Kia River M721, and this is the Platinum Upgrade. It costs $194,990. It's on the Mercedes Sprinter rear-wheel drive 516 chassis. And here's some basic specs. It's a six berth with three double beds, and you can see the rest there. And this is what you get for a Platinum Upgrade. A few extras. Right, so there she's in all her glory. There's the sleeping Luton. Let's head inside. Right, so this sleeping Luton gets a insect mesh rather than a curtain, but it's well padded and has windows. Then there's this Mercedes MBU X system, which is a nice upgrade on some of the Jayco models. And there's your standard dinette, but note it has four seat belts on this dinette. Let's just let these people get out of the way. Right, so in the kitchen, you have a nice long bench top with your stove, your range hood. The TV is up in the cabinetry, but look at this cabinetry. It goes for miles, plenty of cupboards. You have a small bar fridge style fridge. I don't know if that'd be enough for six. And you have this huge club lounge where the table goes in the floor for dining. Lovely big Kia windows, which I think is a hallmark of theirs. Plenty of niches and shelving. This light wood makes it bright. And there's the bathroom. It is a one piece, all in one wet room. As you can see, you have the shower, the toilet, a nice skylight and vent, but it's all in one room, but it's tight and it's usable. Right. Back to the dinette. So as you can see, there is four seat belts. Someone will end up traveling facing the wrong direction. Right, so that's a huge club lounge. So there's some decent space here for six. What do you think? Right, so this is just some breakdowns. You have the large club lounge at the rear showing off the glass house. A nice still looking forward of the habitat. And then you have one of the wet room. They're your main components in this motorhome. But here's some of the competition. So for the same money, you can have a Winnebago Byron. You can then have your Winnebago Burley, or you can have an Auto Trail Scout or a Sunliner Switch. These are all six berth motorhomes and their specs are there. So what are your thoughts on the Kia Platinum River? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, guys, that wraps it up for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.